extension in level three is a lot of fun. Um, I, find all, I find that students um, really get excited when you extend for them and challenge them beyond. They, they get it. Um, but I find that there's two groups of students, the ones that will try to answer anything that I say to them. And then there's the other group that's really nervous to go beyond what is there on the text because on the slide because then they have to come up with this on their own and so they're not as confident going there because they don't have that visual support um, so you know with my students you know in level three uh, when we're teaching the days of the week you know I asked them what day is today what day was yesterday I asked them lots of questions um, and we were learning the months of the year with one of my students last spring during Dragon Boat Festival and I was like she is flying through the months what can I do here and I was like it's a holiday it's perfect. So we learned that Dra Dragon Boat Festival was in May. Uh, we learned that Chinese New Year was in January or February. Her birthday was in July. And we just started bringing in more content. Why? Because she can handle it. You know, I find that, um, you know, in the body parts unit, we teach this is my head, these are my hands, these are my fingers. And my students know those three sentences starting out that lesson every single time. So I teach them thumbs, pointer fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, pinky fingers, wrists, elbows. Some of them might be able to handle five words. Some of them might be able to handle 10 new words. Um, kind of whatever they can do, um, I, I try and I stretch that further. Um, and I'm amazed at what they can do. Um, so sometimes I try to stick to more what is on the screen, on the slide, where they can you know, look at the, you know, look at the days of the week as I'm asking a question, use that. And then sometimes I just go completely beyond that um, and, you know, really challenge them with harder questions. Um, I, I guess I, the sky's kind of the limit when it comes to extension and, and what the student can do. As long as they can handle it, why not go further with them? On Earth, we have gravity. In space, where the moon and the sun and the planets are, is not there is no, yes, yes. So, Jay, what happens in space to the apple? Um, Does it fall? Yes. Is not pulls things towards the space. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does not pull things down. Mm -hmm. So in space, gravity does not pull things down. Yes. Jay, in space, things float. Can you float? Yes. Mm -hmm. the dino, is dino is floating. Mm -hmm. Dino is floating. Jay, would you like to float in space? Yes, I like the flow in the space. Good. Yes, I would like to float in space. Yes, I would like to float in space. Excellent. Jay, find a star. Nine. Yes, great job. Well done. When I first start a lesson with a student. In the very beginning, usually in the warm-up slide or the introduction slide, I get a feel for their skills if I don't know the student already. And then I start to adapt. Uh, so really from the very beginning of the lesson, I will start to adapt and that helps the pacing because I can look and, and see that a student needs more guidance then I will not start to ask them to read things on their own at first. I will have, I will read them first, have them repeat after me, and then I don't have to spend as much time correcting the student because I find that if I have to keep correcting them and they have to keep repeating over and over again because they have made mistakes, then I start to lose control of that timing. Um, but if I see that they need that guidance and that structure, then I will provide that right from the beginning of the lesson all throughout. Uh, and then if a student starts to show me that they have 
a higher capability from the beginning, then I will start to extend on almost every slide, depending on what it is, because I feel that it would be a disservice to them to not give them that challenge. And I think that that is what makes parents happy too, is to see that their students are being challenged in their correct skill. And some students don't need the extra challenge, so extension looks a little different for them. Extension might just be, you know, show me, show me, uh, show me uh, something in your in your room that is that color. An extension for a, a more um, advanced student could be talking about what they did yesterday. So um, I really do start assessing them from the very beginning of the class. In China, do you celebrate Chinese New Year? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do on Chinese New Year? Uh, what do you do? I go to see TV. Okay, you watch TV? Yeah, and I go to mom's home. Oh, okay. You you see your family? You can yeah. see your family? Okay, yeah. so the family all gets together? Yeah. Oh, good. And do you eat a lot of food? On yeah. Chinese New Year? Yes. Yeah. Very cool. In Chinese New Year, I uh, Mom and I go to Nanjing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, on Chinese New Year, my mom and I go to uh, Nanjing. Yeah. Okay, let's see how to spell that. Oh, N-A-N-J-I-N-G. Yeah, Nanjing? Yeah. Is that right? Okay, very cool, Nanjing. Okay.